Hello, welcome back. Uh, today we're working on clouds again. Uh, episode three here. Uh, we're going to do kind of a stormy scene, maybe on the beach. Uh, you could kind of do this in any color, but it's just going to be more the technique of applying the, the paint and highlighting it in a way that shows kind of like a peephole through the clouds. Uh, so we're going to use the big brush, Thalo Blue, and this is kind of already a dirty brush from earlier, Thalo Blue, and Thalo Green. And I kind of want to dull it a little, so I'm grabbing some gray and just mixing that in there. I get kind of a color that I'm looking for, but we won't really know until we get onto the canvas. Still working from the general kind of top down rule of thumb, this being our horizon line. Just going to imagine the sun maybe somewhere in this general area, and we're going to work in the color towards that area and blending it as we get closer. I'm getting really rough with this. I wanted to try and avoid getting some of this blue where I don't really want it. Um, we're using phthalo green in here, so it's always already going to get a little bit of a green color, but uh, the liquid white, that's important. You need that. So now that it's on, make sure there's not too much. We'll drag it. Really just working with brush. That's so much better. And I'm going to pick up a little bit more Thalo green here. I'm just kind of dancing this brush around and just seeing what comes off and just leaving it like that. Again, we want the top to be darker, but we can still work on that by coming back in here and just darkening it, darkening it up a little bit. But we're just moving the brush around and getting, you know, having a lot of fun with it, just moving it around in there. Just gonna blend this a little bit and soften up some of these. Still kind of moving similarly. Some circular brush strokes in here. But looking up, uh, just seeing the, the sky pop right through there. I'm gonna get this brush and go into some of this gray color. Remember that one's even mixtures of phthalo green and lizard crimson and just darken up these corners a little bit more. Blend it out again, just soften it. Right, now that we've got our little base color in here, clean off a little spot. And we're actually gonna use a fan brush. I didn't really say that earlier. And we're gonna take this fan brush and drag it through. I'm using a number six. We're gonna go into the white, get a tiny bit of red 
for our highlight color. And I like to give it a little movement to get the paint to work into the bristles. So we really get a lot of paint in there. And then you can see that there's quite a lot of paint in the bristles there. And starting right here in the middle, we're just gonna put the fan brush in there and really move it about and kind of move around and find your way out. And clean it off, do it again. You can always add a little bit more pink and we're gonna do this a couple times. So don't get too harsh on yourself. Just give it a try and see how you like it. Wiggle it in, get all that paint in. And starting in the center again, let's move around. Just really pushing that brush in and just getting crazy with it. See what comes off. I'm gonna put a little more over here since I've got some color on. I've got quite a bit of paint here in the middle, so I'm just gonna scrape some of that off so we don't drag it all around. And brush into that white. Gonna need to get some more on the palette. White, bright red, wiggle it in, and work our way out from the center where that light is. Back into our white. Little bright red into the center and pop this up. Sometimes I give it a push up, like if you're doing a pine tree maybe, but do it however you want. I'm just gonna pull off this extra paint here. Now working from the center out, we're just going to kind of soften some of these edges and uh, make some clouds. We're working in those nice little circles. And if the light's coming from in here somewhere, you know, these front edges are going to be pretty, pretty strong, but again, you can just do it whatever you think, whatever you like. Got a little bit of dirt in there, flip the brush around. And then Keep mixing, softening. We're just gonna uh, lift it up just like we've been doing on all the other clouds here. Lift. And take out all those brush strokes. Just real light, barely touching the canvas on, the, on these strokes here. Just gonna develop a little bit more around this center of light here. And we'll see, see what happens. blending brush. Now we're just blending out the back of the cloud here, leaving those top edges 
as your highlights. Lift. And just soften it down a little. Now remember our horizon line is going to be somewhere down here on the bottom and you can work in a few more layers here if you want. Um, but I'm going to leave it just like that. All right, now that we've got this big light spot in here, there's just one more step. I'm going to take some bright white here on our brush, titanium white on the brush. We're just going to, oh, into the red. Make this a nice kind of a sunshine type color. And uh, if we're gonna imagine that the sun is maybe poking out of this, you know, it could be right here, kind of poking out. And I'm just gonna drag in some of these strokes. They're straight lines coming out of the center. And just let, let them come out as they do. And then I'll leave some lines in there, um, kind of like you've got a little sun going on. And now we're done with episode three of Clouds. Be sure to hit subscribe and go to my channel if you want to become a member to see the full video all together.